Hello again. Well, before we get um, going with our cleaning, we have to gather our supplies. And ordinarily, I would do this kind of cleaning in the bathtub or in the sink. Um, some of these instruments are a little big for the sink, so I'd use it in the bathtub. Um, any place where you could get some warm, soapy water, not water that has a lot of, uh, you know, corrosive kind of thing. I mean, not soap that has corrosive things, but something that's, uh, you know, warm and soapy, some child-style soap. So what I've done here, I've replicated my bathtub. It's about the same size, unfortunately. And we have some warm, soapy water. Warm, soapy water! And, uh... Mr. Hippo likes it. We need some soft terry cloth. Uh, a polishing cloth later, if your instrument is worth it. Um, I can tell you that none of my instruments are worth a polishing. Occasionally I do rub them down. But most of my instruments I find at yard sales and or um, in the junk bin. So uh, as supplies go, mine are a little... Uh, abbreviated than the usual. We also, if you're going to do a trombone, you need a rod with a cloth. Uh, occasionally you'll have a snake with a brush at the end of it. And a lot of times with the trumpet and smaller instruments, there is a rod so that you can clean through the pipes. I just take a piece of a clothes hanger and some terry cloth and I work through the lead pipes and stuff like that that way. We'll show you in just a little bit. But pretty much you're talking soft cloths, a couple of um, instruments uh, to get through the tubing, and some warm soapy water.